Let's, I've got some questions for you. Okay. That was the answer to the best you can. Cool. All right. Uh, the first question is, what is D&D? &D? Oh, Dungeons and Dragons, right? And what do you do when you play D&D? &D? You, like, impersonate people <laughs> characters <laughs> that you make up. And some people get really into it, and it's cool. Um, <laughs> and you buy stuff with money that you win. <laughs> okay. You draw maps. Uh, what is a standard action? Is it an action you can do at any point with your character and you don't have to have any special item to do it? Do we mean like fighting or like pilfering places, killing people? I mean, that's what happens a lot in your game. Uh, it's an action that comes with your player. Standard action in D and D is you get a number of amount of you basically get three potential actions per turn: a move action, a standard action, and a swift action. A standard action would be when you hit the enemy with a sword or cast a spell. A move action is when you move like your character on the map. Uh, a, what is a free action? Okay, so I'm assuming it's like you paid for that action, like. I don't know, you get some extra money, and you're like, I want to do another action with my standard actions, <laughs> and you paid for it, and you did them. <laughs> you can do it at any time in the game? It doesn't cost anything. That is absolutely right, actually. A free action is talking. If you've ever heard the phrase, talking is a free action, talking doesn't mean anything. You can talk as much as you want on your turn, whereas on your turn you only have one standard action and one move action. What is a critical hit? Uh, you're dead. Oh, it, you hit someone critically, like, you, they're about to die. That's where you hit them and they lose a lot of damage, as opposed to when you hit them it does a regular amount of damage. That is also true. A uh, critical hit is when you get a natural 20 on the die, you get to, uh, depending on what your critical modifier is, you multiply your damage. And so it's a lot. I learned that from Pokemon. Uh, what does BAB stand for? I'm actually trying to think about this. I don't. I really don't know. I can't think. Fucker Vine is a legitimate answer. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Battling anthropomorphized anthropomorphized beavers. Be a bitch. Also true. Yeah, <laughs> All right. What does initiative mean? Oh, okay. I've heard you guys talk about this. <laughs> You're like, I rolled with initiative or whatever. It means you have gumption, and you want to go out and follow your dreams because it's... Actually, that's not what initiative even means. <laughs> to have the initiative to do something. Mm, tell me. Uh, initiative is how you determine who goes first. What? Yeah. Why is it so fancy? Uh, what's the difference between a spontaneous and a prepared caster? Who yeah. <laughs> is spontaneous? Like, <laughs> I want to make an ice cream cone. Would do it now, wizard stuff, and or caster spells, whatever. And um, what was the other one? Prepared. Prepared, well, the night before. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted that ice cream cone. <laughs> so I prepared that. Spontaneous, they just do it out of nowhere, but prepared is like premeditated. Like, yeah. they, it, like they're planning it like turns in advance. Yeah, no. Uh, prepared caster is the guy who went home and did his homework and was like, <laughs> Alright, guys, this is the gameplay. The spontaneous caster's like, WHO THE FUCK GIVES A SHIT?! HUH! And just, like, cast things. And you, like, so let's say you prepare, like, you know, three of this spell, one of this spell, two of this spell. Um, a spontaneous caster has just a number of spells he can cast, and he can choose from any spell that he knows. Uh, what's a natural attack? So I'm playing a bear, right? And we come across some people in the woods. <laughs> right, okay. And it's just my instinct. Yeah. To attack them because they're in my bear hub. And <laughs> is that just like hitting them with a sword? It's when you call on Mother Nature to work for you and you pile them with dirt or <laughs> trees or water. Maybe trees? <laughs> trees. Alright, a uh, natural attack in D&D &D is when you fight with like a tusk or a bite or a claws rather than a sword or uh, like a knife. What are race points? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was something really bad. <laughs> 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 yeah, race points. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. Um, so I, I, I already went there earlier. <laughs> Does it have to do with, like, 
a competition, like a race. No, it does not. Or like 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 if you're an elf or a Yeah, yeah. It has to do with that one. Mm -mm, I'm not saying it. What is it? <laughs> Mage or something. Uh do you get a certain amount of points for things depending what race you are? Points are exactly what you're thinking there. Oh my god, really? Some races are better than other races. Jesus Christ, I was gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Um, there are different races in D and D, and different races have different skill points and different abilities. You're close. There, um, race points determine how good the race is. So, like, your DM might say, "All right, you can play any race you want under ten race points." And so, if of something you rate races, yeah, because some races are better than other races. <laughs> 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 Some reason you to say that. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah. Uh, we all heard what you said. <laughs> what is a saving throw? You throw something and it saves you. It's that thing when you get hit by an arrow and you're holding your spear, and as you die, you just throw it and hope that it hits. So a saving throw, yeah. Rachel, is a throw that I can use. <laughs> So I had the five, right? Yeah. And I used three to kill whatever monster was trying to kill me. <laughs> and so I have two left over. Not quite. A saving throw is something you do, like, if you hear somebody go, make a will save, you have to, like, roll a dice and add your will save thing. Um, or you get affected by something that they do, like, they can try to mind control you and you would make a will save to not be mind controlled. And if you fail, um, you would be mind controlled. Be saying like I yell at the orc king like you're dumb and I hate you. That'd be a free action.